I'm going to show you why Bunch Tight End is one of the best offenses in Madden this year. If you guys want to get my entire Bunch Tight End offensive ebook, it's going to be in the Patreon. Patreon members get access to everything for just 10 bucks. All the ebooks, all the updates, every single thing that we put out in Madden, you guys get access to. So if you want to become a Patreon member today, it's only $10 to sign up, and the link's going to be down in the description. We're talking about uh, Bunch Tight End out of the Jets offensive playbook. We also have a full Bunch Tight End offensive ebook on this. And uh, we actually based it out of the run heavy playbook because you can apply a lot of the principles to the Jets playbook. And this play is in both of them. It's PA boot over or PA all cross. It's my, one of my favorite plays in the game every single year because of a couple, couple key things. Number one, it has a really, really good um, pass protection. Like you can just literally snap the ball and you already have pretty good pass protection. You can roll out and you can try to, you know, basically just work your rollout game, right? We can easily do that. And Madden 20. Uh, Madden 22, the rollout was absolutely overpowered. In this year's game, it's kind of slightly uh, back, but it's not all the way back. So, um, what I like to do, what do I like to do with bunch tight end this year? What I like to do is um, essentially this is one of the best man beaters in Madden this year. So, what we're going to do is we're going to streak our tight end, we're going to zig our slot, and we are going to slant our outside bunch receiver. We're going to motion him across, snap him about right here, and what you're going to see is first and foremost the zig. Zigs are one of the best routes in the game this year at being able to beat man coverage, right? In years previously, because Zigs weren't super overpowered against man, then you might run this concept like this and just use that flat as a pull route for zone, which we'll get to in a minute. The beauty of the Zig is it is now a pull route and it is a man beater, right? That is a super helpful thing. Now, uh, this crossing route over the middle, let me show you that again a little bit Normally gets a little better separation than that. Um, but typically this crossing route just fries man this year. If it doesn't fry man, you have the slant route coming back across. That will typically fry man. And specifically at a bunch tight end, I feel like the motion slants are better than they are out of like, let's say bunch, for example. Uh, so that's another big part of it. So they got to put some zones on the field to help them out, right? They've got to put some zones on the field to uh, stop the zig. They got to put a zone on the field to stop the slant. Um, and typically their user is going to have to choose between the slant and the crossing route, right? And we're just going to throw the ball to the guy that they don't guard. So in this example here, crosser, Jordan Love overthrows it because practice mode is awesome. But you see the crosser uh, coming open over the middle. Now, the other thing that you can do with this, there's a lot of different setups you can do out of Bunch Tight End this year, but you don't, if you are strictly facing man coverage, the tight end streak is not like a super necessary thing. And Jordan Love is just making a great performance here on practice mode. Um, the tight end, the tight end uh, pose or, or streak is not a, a super necessary, right? So what you can do with this that I actually really will do is let's say it's all out man coverage. We're going to just drag both the inside guys, put a curl on the field. If we know that it's man coverage like this, this will do a little bit better of a job because the two drags really do a good job of beating man. And it clears everything out so the crosser has the whole field to be able to work over the top. The curl route is actually low-key a really, really good route, especially uh, in this situation because they have to put two hard flats on the field to be able to stop a drag route this year. And so because of those two hard flats, it leaves this curl open and it just will sit like that. You can possession catch it and be able to attack the band coverage that way as well. Uh, so again, we're still kind of basically forcing them to user the post uh, or user the crosser. Now uh, let's talk about zone. So the reason we want to run our bunch to the wide side of the field is because it will make this crosser much better against zone. As you can see right there, it gets over the top of the yellows, over the top of the blues. And then it gets underneath of the deep zones, whether it be cover four, that was cover four. I'll show you uh, cover three. It's going to get over the top of both of those. And it's going to, it's going to, that tight end streak, because we are, uh, our bunches to the, to the wide side of the tight ends to the short side, he's going to clear everything out um, so that we can throw that every single time. Now this also uh, will do a pretty good job, even if it is cover two, because we're specifically using a crossing route. That gets a lot more depth than let's say like a slot apprentice post would. So you'll see here he gets a lot of depth over the top and then we're able to hit this against uh, cover two. So we're able to literally beat every single zone with that route and then what this does is it forces your opponent to now have to user the crosser. When your opponent has to use the crosser there's a lot more that we can now attack with uh, underneath this offense. So you'll see here 
We've got a little uh, whip route. If they're not playing hard flats, we're always taking the zig. If they're not playing hard flats, we are always taking the zig every single time. And then if they are playing hard flats, so let's say I drop these uh, defenders on the outside into, maybe I, maybe I set up a coverage like this. This, this would be actually something you might see. So we're going to double flat that right side because you've been throwing some drag routes. You've been throwing a deep crossing route, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then we bring this slant back across and they have to go use the crosser. So they have to go use the crosser. Now look, the middle of the field becomes open and we can throw this, uh, this route to Jerry Rice over the middle. The other thing I wanted to say is let's say, for example, that your opponent, you know, really gets aggressive with their coverage a little bit here and they're going to, you know, maybe do something like this where they're going to shade that vertical hook down so that it will play a slant route a little better. What you can do with this is you can actually wait on this to develop a little bit. And um, this zig route will take the hard flat. Watch that drag get open over the top of that. And then you can get a big play as well. This play is extremely versatile, can attack a lot of different coverages, guys. If you want to get better at Madden, join the Patreon today. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to my bunch tight end offensive ebook. We've also got 15 other offensive and defensive ebooks this year that will make you a better Madden player. Thanks for watching the video. Sign up for the Patreon. Head down to the description and go click the link down below.